We started in 2004. Um, we make rock climbing gear, and more recently, we've started making some bike gear under the label Nittany Mountain Works. So we're a completely domestic manufacturer. We originally started in a 4,000 square foot shop out here in Phillipsburg. Um, and last year we built our new 15,000 square foot shop. Um, and now we're all solar powered, so we're completely solar sewn, as we say. Um, so all our gear is as sustainable as we currently can get, like technologically, um, it's pretty cool. We're what people go to in the bigger companies for their inspiration, so we see our stuff get copied a lot. Um, and we've been trying to use that for good. Um, we're trying to like really promote the solar sewn thing. A lot of our fabric scraps are recycled into the designs that are on a lot of our products. Um, so we're trying to push the industry in a sustainable way by trying to lead the pack, um, which is a nice position to be in. You know, so we ran the numbers and we, we've really been trying to pay attention to our carbon footprint. Um, and we realized that it's nearly impossible to, to, to equate anyone's carbon footprint. 100% sustainable costs a lot of money, but 98% sustainable um, is pretty damn good. And you can do a lot more good with that last 2% um, going to other places. Like we, we really focus a lot on nonprofits and things like that. But to, to get that like lead certification that that last 2%, it's millions and millions of dollars that we don't have. Um, so we went 98%, really went for that, the solar powered manufacturing, um, the sustainable like in terms of reuse of our textiles. Um, and also I think a lot of people forget that part of sustainability is longevity. So we really focus on making products that they last a long time, that they have that lifespan that gear used to have. My advice to other manufacturers is to don't go into it to greenwash and to get the marketing aspect of it. Do it because it's economically viable. For us, when we when we built this whole shop, we, we took the numbers and we looked at our electric bill. We looked at the solar, um, the payoff, and <laughs> I know I'm gonna be in this long term. I mean, pandemic aside, fingers crossed, but like when I looked that I had a seven year payout um, to, to pay off my solar and to be getting you know, free electricity off after that, it's just a smart business decision to, to do it. And don't look at it, like I said, as the marketing aspect of it, really look at it for your bottom line, projecting out the length of your business.